Social media is a great way to market your business if you use it correctly. Hi guys, it's Barbara. Welcome back to our channel where we talk all things branding, web design, and online marketing. Today I want to go over 10 mistakes I see small business owners making on social media. Let's just get right into it. The first thing that I see people doing on social media that's a huge mistake is just overthinking it. They spend too much time worrying about liking that perfect photo or writing that perfect caption and they overthink the time to post and everything about it to the point where they just end up not posting anything at all. So don't overthink it. Keep social media simple. Don't put so much thought into it that you're worried about every little detail because then you just end up not posting anything. The second mistake that I'm seeing is that people aren't creating content for their target audience. They're sharing personal posts, you know, pictures of them on vacation or out to dinner with friends, or they're sharing opinions that really have nothing to do with their business on their business pages. My thought is you should have a personal page for all that personal stuff and a business page for your business stuff. And on your business page, you should be sharing content that's really valuable to your audience. Give them that value so that they wanna come back and engage with you and possibly do business with you. When you start to mix the personal and the professional business post, it really has that disconnect and people don't really know what it is that your account is about. The third mistake people are doing on social media is they're being way too salesy. So every post that they put on social media is a sales pitch and people just don't want to be sold to all the time. It's okay to promote your services and your products sometimes, but don't make that your entire feed because people are gonna get disinterested in what you have to say really quickly. The fourth mistake is that people aren't responding to comments. Now, if somebody asked you a question face to face, you wouldn't just ignore them, right? Well, you shouldn't do that on social media either. If somebody puts a comment on one of your posts or asks you a question, you need to respond. That's how social media works. That's the whole point. You want engagement, well, you have to engage with people. And that goes into my next mistake that I see people doing is that they're not engaging at all. They just post stuff on social media, but they don't go on other people's profiles and leave comments. They don't engage with the people that they're following. So it's just kind of like they're just posting all the time and that's it. Set it and forget it really doesn't work on social media. The whole point is that you need to be social. The next mistake that I see people making on social media is not scheduling or automating it. This really does help save you a ton of time. So I highly recommend getting something like Buffer, Hootsuite, or even using some of the native scheduling within the social media apps themselves to just schedule out the content that you wanna put on your profiles each week. You know, start on Monday morning maybe and just schedule out everything that you wanna post so you know what's going out and when, and then you can follow up with those posts throughout the week instead of trying to think every day, okay, what is it that I'm going to post? Let me try to get a photo. Let me try to write a perfect caption. It just takes up so much time. If you can do it all in one day and schedule it out, that's really going to help you. This also helps you with recycling old content because let's face it, you probably have a ton of content already out there, but not everyone is seeing that content because Social media moves pretty fast. Sometimes people just completely miss your post. So you can recycle some of that old content and those old posts instead of trying to constantly come up with brand new content. So scheduling and automating really does help if you're using social media for business. The seventh mistake that I see people making is that they're just spreading themselves way too thin on social media. The truth is you don't need to be on every single social media platform. And if you're doing this, you're likely getting burned out really quickly. You want to focus on the channels that your audience hangs out on. So if people are on Facebook more than they're on Twitter, don't worry about Twitter, just use Facebook because that's where your audience is. If you can manage a few social media accounts really well 
and engage with those people on a regular basis, that's going to be much more effective than trying to spread yourself out over all the social media channels where your audience really isn't hanging out. Just focus on one or two. The eighth mistake, and this is a big one, is buying followers, likes, or fake engagement. Now, I'm sure you've heard this before, but it has to be said again. Buying followers, engagement, likes, anything of the sort is a huge no-no. It's not going to help you. It's a huge waste of money. You just need to focus on building your audience authentically in the organic, old-fashioned way. And yes, that takes a lot of work, but in the long run, buying these followers, these likes, is not doing nothing for your business because those people aren't actually buying from you. So there's really no point in having all of these followers and all of these fake likes because it's not doing anything for your business. So just don't do it. And this leads somewhat into the ninth mistake that I see people making, which is only caring about those follower numbers. Let's face it, followers are important. People like to say, oh, it really doesn't matter how many followers you are, but it does have an effect. The more followers you have, hopefully, the more engagement you have and the more business you're getting to your website and for your company. But followers are only a small portion of the social media puzzle. You really shouldn't focus all of your time on growing your following. What you want to focus on is growing your engagement. And if you have a smaller following, but they're really active and engaged and care about what you have to say, that's much better than having a million followers that really don't care about anything that you have to say. So don't just focus on those numbers, focus on the engagement and serving the followers that you do have well. And finally, the 10th mistake that I see people doing on social media is just relying solely on social media to build their business. You still need to have a website because social media changes all the time. We all know that the algorithms are constantly changing and you could be really killing it for a month or two and then all of a sudden something changes and nobody is seeing your posts anymore. And if you're using social media alone without having a website, you have no control over your following. With a website, you do. You control what happens on the website, who's following it, and everything that goes into it. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and relying only on social media to build your build your business is just not a good idea. You want to use social media to get people to your website so then they can buy your products or services. So I hope you enjoyed this video on 10 mistakes that I see small business owners making on social media. And leave a comment down below if you've ever made one of those mistakes. And if you are in the Philadelphia area, I want to tell you about a workshop that we have going on on September 27th. You'll learn a lot of great strategies to level up your business, including creative ways to use digital marketing. We also have web design talks, SEO talks, branding, photography, and sales. A lot of great content in a one-day workshop located in Plymouth Meeting, and I'll put the link to that down below. Registration is now open, and if you are in the area, we'd love to see you there. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly content. See you next time.